Yo, what's up, PJ here, and in today's video, we will talk about another NFT game, and this time it is called the Crypto U, and this is the first ever baby metaverse on Binance Smart Chain. So, first ever baby. So, from the word itself, baby. So, yun nag involved dito is mga babies. Yan. So, if you are interested kung magkano ba yung kailangan natin dito and ilang days ba natin mababawi yung cost dito sa pag-mint ng isang baby, if you are interested, ano ba yung gameplay dito, paano ba tayo magkaka-earn ng rewards, paano ba tayo magkaka-melt, paano ba tayo magkaka-baby, and ano ba yung mga tokens involved dito. If you are interested, eto, eyes on my screen. So ito yung game natin for today, The Crypto You. And here are ito yung mga main characters natin, mga baby. So there are 12 characters na babies na iba't iba yung kanilang mga type, yung role nila iba-iba. So, papakita ko mo sa inyo ito yung pinakamataas na si Bitcoin holder and kita nyo dito yung rarity niya is super, super rare and yung role niya is fighter and damage type and physical siya. And you can see it here, may mga stats siya na strength stamina, vitality, grit, dexterity, mentality, and that is used eventually pag available nyo yung kanilang app. Uh, PVE and PVP, they have this team battle then. So, 12 characters pa currently available. Quick look lang, Bitcoin holder. Ayan, may hacker, altcoin collector, hardware miner, DeFi farmer, scammer. Yun, may scammer pa sila. Spot trader, futures lover, crypto OG, crypto baby. Ayan, bonus hunter, shiller. Ayan, so yung pinaka, ito na yung pinaka mababa nila, shiller. Yung type niya. Rarity niya is still rare. Ayan, yung role niya, healer and magical. So, there are mga five yung role dito. May fighter tayo nakita kanina. May, may assassin, may archer, may healer, and then may mage then. And you can see it here, iba-iba yung strength, ilang stamina, vitality, grit, and dexterity, and mentality. In addition to that, kita nyo dito sa left side naman, is may mga items tayong pwedeng ilagay dito sa ating baby. Kita nyo, may um, equipment, kumbaga, may headgear, then may... May armor pa siya, may, may boots, so depende. Uh, mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ba natin makuha itong mga items na ito. And basically, yun lang yung kailangan nyo malaman yung mga characters dito. Iba-iba yung kanila mga strengths, stamina, vitality, grit, dexterity, mentality. Because uh, later on, pag na fully launch na yung mga yung PvE, yung PvP ng game na ito, you will use din itong team strategy to battle against other players. Ayan. So, ito yung game natin. So, paano ba tayo kikita dito sa The Crypto U? First and foremost, ito yung available now, yung daily mining nila. And ito din yung nagustuhan ko because uh, dito sa game na ito, aside dun sa may PvE siya, PvP, yung mga team battles, they have this daily mining which is not available dun sa mga ibang NFT games. So, yung babies ninyo, you can send them dito sa milk station, Warehouse, energy station, gym, dark castle, post office, and the airport. But if level 1 pa lang yung ating baby, dito lang tayo sa milk station and kita nyo dito, walang requirement. Any baby, pwede nyo ilagay dyan but doon sa ibang um, location kagaya ng warehouse, kailangan nyo na ng level 2 and yung vitality kailangan 86 plus, yung grit kailangan 61 plus, and you can see it here, yung mga recommended characters lang na pwede nyo ilagay kagaya sa warehouse, kailangan nyo ng bitcoin holder and yung altcoin collector, ayan, sa energy station, kailangan nyo ng hardware miner, D5 farmer, and level 2 yung kanilang, uh, yung baby nyo level 2, and yung grit niya, 86 plus then 61 plus, so ano ba yung pinagkaiba pag ibang location na pag level level 2 na yung baby niyo mas mataas sa yung milk na makukuha niya so in our case, eto, milk station lang tayo, and estimated around mga 260 milk every day yung makukuha natin dito sa milk station so that is good news uh, passive lang siya, all you need to do is ilalagay niya lang yung baby dyan, mamaya papakita ko sa inyo and next naman, yung game features naman, ito may PVE tayo kita nyo, ayan so may block swans tayo and flash loans then and in this game you can get milk, baby and keys, ayan, imagine may keys yung keys kasi gagamitin sa mga treasure chest, imagine may treasure chest and you will open the treasure chest depende yun, may bronze chest, may silver chest, may gold chest and may laman yon na mga milk baby and yung maganda dan yung gold chest may laman siya na mount and may NFT siya na pet tsaka yung mount niya NFT yon so mamaya pag-usapan natin eto flash loan black swans then yan yung available dito sa PVE 
And dito tayo sa open chest. Ayan, ito yung nabanggit ko kanina. May bronze chest tayo, may silver chest, and gold chest. Yung pinakamaganda dito is yung gold chest. Dahil nandito natin makuha yung mount ng ating baby, yung mount ng ating baby. And of course, uh, may pet din tayong pwede makuha dito sa gold chest. Which is, yon additional stats to doon sa ating baby. So, kita nyo kanina. Iba-iba yung stats niya. Pwede mag-increase yung kanyang attack, yung kanyang uh, grit, yung kanyang uh, uh, ano pa yung mga ibang stats na available sa ating babies. So, yun. You can get that dito sa mga chest. And may PvP din. May uh, team battles din na uh, available dito. And yun, may season din sila. Uh, leaderboard. So, I believe may reward din if you are part of the leaderboard. So, basically, yun yung uh, ways of earning dito sa The Crypto U. Daily mining, PvE, open chest, diba? team battles. So, there are a lot of ways of earning dito sa The Crypto U. But yung tanong is, magkano ba yung pwede nating uh, kitain dito. So, mamaya after this, ipakita ko, ipakita ko muna sa inyo na magmimint tayo ng isang baby. Each baby will require you 50 na baby swap. And you can get that, uh, you can get the baby swap token pala dito sa baby swap. Ayan. Exchange that baby swap, that finance. And you can use USDT, you can use BNB. So, kailangan nyo ng 50 na babies. You can use it here. And ito, Bumili na ako ng 50 na babies around roughly around mga 3,900 pesos siya ngayon. So bumili na ako so that we can mint one baby. And if mayon, if may 50 baby swap tokens na kayo, babalik tayo sa game and ito magme-mint tayo natin. First baby and ho hopefully yung pinakamataas, yung super super rare yung makuha natin na baby in this uh in this game. So ito, um to mint your baby dito tayo sa game and then get your baby ito. Ayan, get your baby and then approve baby NFB redeem subukan natin ito approve baby and then kailangan i-connect sa MetaMask niyo and then may transaction fee i-confirm natin 10 seconds later so yun hintayin lang natin after mga a few seconds lang ito may button na, na mint with 50 baby so every day yan ang limit natin 5 babies every day Ayan, so may available tayo na 50. Ito, imimint na natin first ever baby natin. Hopefully, super, super rare yung uh, makuha natin in this uh, minting. Ito, i-click na natin. Mint with 50. Baby, let's go. Super rare. SSR. 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 Ayan na, ayan na. So, ito yung baby na nakuha natin. Uh, sad to say, ito yung pinaka, one of the pinaka lowest rank na baby. So, yung character niya is shiller, damage type niya, magical. But yung role niya, healer, di ba? Vital yung healer sa mga, sa mga PvP na games and mga team battles. Level niya, one. Rarity is rare. So, ito yung baby natin, shiller. Ayan, shiller. And... Next natin is, kung gusto nyo siyang ipamine ng daily mining, punta tayo sa daily mining. Ayan, daily mining. And then, dito sa milk station, dito lang kasi siya qualified. Level 1 na baby. Any type, pwede dito sa milk station. So, eto, Shiller, level 1, score 167. I-approve natin. Confirm. A few minutes later. So, ito may baby at work na tayo. May isang baby at work. So, successfully, yung baby natin nasa milk station na. Ito, si Schiller location, milk station 1. And yung salary milk, ito yung ating reward or ito yung milk na mag-generate ng ating baby. So, we'll check after 24 hours or after a day kung ilang milk ba yung makukuha natin. And yun, kukumpyuta natin kung ilang days ba natin Mababawi yung ating in-invest dito Yung cost ng ating baby is nasa 3,900 So yun, balikan ko kayo So yun 24 hours later So ito, after 24 hours I-check natin kung ilang milk ba yung na-mine ng ating baby So all we need to do is Punta tayo dito sa daily mining na tab Dito sa taas So, makita natin dito yung milk station, warehouse, tsaka energy station. So, i-drag down lang natin. And makita nyo dito yung in working info natin. Baby at home zero. Baby at work, isa lang kasi yung baby natin. And we have this unclaimed milk na 83.5320. So, ito yung total ng milk na na-generate ng ating baby in 24 hours. 
So yung next step natin is i-claim lang natin yung reward. May button dito, claim reward. I-click lang to natin. So i-click natin, claim reward. And hintayin natin, may gas fees kasi ito. Yung gas fees niya estimate lang is 0.0025 BNB. So yung actual nito is mas maliit pa dito. That is roughly around mga 10 pesos lang. So ito, i-confirm natin yung ating gas fees. Click nyo lang yung confirm. So next step is we just have to wait na maklaim na yung ating 83 na milk at papasok ito sa ating MetaMask. So hintayin lang natin, we just have to wait. Ito, let's just wait for a few minutes lang naman papasok to sa ating MetaMask. 10 seconds later. So hindi lang inabot ng minutes, mga 10 seconds lang. Kita nyo, nag-generate ulit siya ng milk yung ating baby. Naging zero na to and currently nasa 0 0.0120 na yung milk na na-generate niya. So upon claiming, automatic yon mag-generate ulit ng milk yung ating baby. So next naman, i-check natin magkano kaya in pesos yung milk natin. So for example, 83 milk, ito yung in pesos niya na value. That is 17 pesos and 43 centavos. So hindi siya ganun kalaki yung value ng milk because currently nasa around 0.23 lang yung value ng per milk. So hindi siya ganun kalaki yung ating nakukuha na income per day. I-check naman natin yung gas fee. So, dito kay sa activity. Tapos sa harvest, you can see it here kung yung actual na gas fee natin is 0 0.003092 BNB lang. So, i-convert natin in pesos. That is around 8 pesos. 8.9 lang. So, hindi ganun kamahal yung gas fees. But, take note lang na every time mag-withdraw tayo, may gas fees na kaakibat. So, I suggest na better if hindi tayo daily mag-withdraw ng ating milk. Next step naman natin gagawin is i-check natin sa MetaMask kung pumasok na yung milk. At kung hindi nyo pa na-add yung milk pala na token, all you need to do is mag-add kayo ng custom token and then i-paste nyo lang doon yung contract address ng milk. So ito, all we need to do is we need to click itong import tokens and ipipaste na natin yung contract address ng milk. Ito yung contract address and you can check my description down below. So in my case, na-add ko na yung token ng milk. Ayan, so you just need to add and then you can see it in the assets na. Here in my case, ito, kita nyo yung balance ng milk ko is 533. So, nakakollect na kasi ako previously. 5 days, 5, 450 milk. And yung 1 day na additional is roughly yung nakollect natin is 83. So, yun yung balance natin, 533 milk. So, nag-average siya ng more or less 80 milk per day yung uh, nag-generate ng ating uh, one baby doon sa milk station. So, next naman natin gagawin is we'll do a sample computation lang kung ilang days ba natin mababawi yung cost ng ating one baby, yung minute natin na one baby. It costed us around 3,900 pesos. So, given na yung 80 milk per day, ilang days ka natin mababawi yung ating cost. So, eto, let's see kung uh, ilang days ba natin mababawi ang ating cost dito sa The Crypto U. Five minutes later. So, ito yung sample computation natin ng the crypto U. So, yung cost natin is 50 baby swap yung kailangan natin. And if ngayon kayo bibili, mas cheaper na siya, mas lower na yung price niya. That would cost you 3,681 pesos. So, you will need ito, 50 na baby swap. And equivalent niyan is 3,681 pesos. And doon naman tayo sa reward. And dito sa milk, every day you can generate roughly around mga 83 milk. And yung kanyang value ngayon in pesos is 17 pesos and 42 centavos. So, yun ang ROI natin. Uh, roughly, it will take us 211 days to recover our total cost na 3,681 3, pesos I need. So, medyo matagal siya compared sa ibang mga other NFT games na na-feature natin dito. Probably, if ever yung kanilang uh, PVE or yung mga kanilang uh, player versus player na mga game modes is lalabas na. Probably mas maliit na yung, mas I mean, mas shorter na yung days to recover the cost. But currently, hindi pa available kasi yung kanilang mga PVP, PVE, and 
wala pang announcement talaga kung kailan yun magiging available but hopefully soon if ever yun may chance kasi if ever it would be available may chance na we will get rewards sa mga milk and baby swap na din na tokens we can get that doon sa kanila mga player versus environment so yun currently eto pa lang kasi yung uh, current way of earning dito sa game is yung daily mining nila but for me hindi pa siya ganoon ka profitable so hopefully soon available na yung other game modes ng the crypto you so yun lang yung video natin for today we just talked about yung the crypto you kung paano ba tayo bumili ng uh, baby swap tokens at paano ba tayo mag mint ng baby and ano yung, yung mga ways to earn in this game so yun yung ways yan may daily mining tayo and then there is this soon soon daw yung PVE and then we will also have mga battle modes so hopefully maging available na yun uh, soon soon so eto lang yung video natin for today and my name again is PJ sa mga hindi pa pala nakapag subscribe subscribe kayo hit the like button on comment down below and thank you again for watching i'll see you again next time